another day, another anime review. Here at Japanese Anime Mania, or JAM, we do our best to overanalyze and pick apart the anime choice of the week. So, let's see what's on our plate for today. Story time with Hunter! So what happened with this anime for this week is I entered the contest on Otaku USA to win the random anime of the month or whatever. And I was hoping to win the big prize, but what happened was that I got a small package and was like, whoa, I actually want something for once. So when I opened it up in class, I was like, oh, that's nice. Now people think I'm weird because I have this kind of show. Like, don't get me wrong. I like Sights of Life. I love Lucky Star. But this show, I was just like, huh? I don't, okay, I'll, I'll try it out and I'll watch it. So for this week, if you enjoy cute girls doing cute things, here we have Kinira Mosaic. Let's go. Kinira Mosaic follows the life of Shinobu Omoya, who was a Japanese high school girl who five years ago had a homestay in England with a girl named Alice Cartelet. One day, Shinobu receives a letter from Alice saying that she is coming to Japan. Alice appears and joins Shinobu and her friends Aya and Yoko at her school, soon followed by another friend from England called Karen. Now, here's the thing. As I just said, it's cute girls doing cute things. And what do you expect is going to happen? This is just a slice of life show where just stuff happens. There's no real overall plot other than there's a subplot of where Alice thinks that Karen's going to take Shinobu away from her, but that's really it. There's nothing else to this show that I could say in terms of story. For character descriptions, of course, we have the main character Shinobu, who's a graceful, optimistic high school girl. Even though she went to England and is still very bad at English, she dreams of becoming an interpreter, and she also loves Western culture, especially blonde hair. Alice also loves Japanese culture, but does have a complex about her short stature. She also gets really jealous if Shinobu just tends to ignore her sometimes. Aya, being the bookworm of the group, always misinterprets Yoko's advances on her, thinking that, oh, she's trying to like me or something like that. But no, it's not like that at all. Yoko, of course, serves as the cheerful tomboy who's also very energetic. She's also completely oblivious to Aya's sentiment towards her. Now, Karen is the half-British, half-Japanese girl who comes from a rich family and was Alice's friend back in England. She comes to Japan right behind Alice and her role is also in Shinobu school. She's very energetic, fun-loving, and carefree, not even worrying about her grades or her getting fat. Again, I really can't go much into story due to the fact that, again, it's slice of life. And other than the whole subplot of, oh no, she's taking her away from me, I like her more. There's nothing I can really say much about the story. In terms of animation and sound, I'm just going to go ahead and just say that the sound was, again, the slice of life generic kind of just basic piano and nothing really much from there. There are some, there is one or two pieces that I really enjoyed from the show, but I really can't give it high marks for its, in terms of sound. We get Kinira Mosaic from Studio Gokumi, who's also known for doing A-Channel, which if you've seen A-Channel, kind of tries to do the same thing, but fails because it's not interesting at all as well as Yuki Yuna as a hero, which I will give credit, is a lot better. There are some shows that I tend to watch whenever I kind of need a pick her up or, you know, I will admit this is one of those shows because due to the whole cutesy thing, it makes me feel a lot chipper and happier. But the thing is though, is that I can't warrant a buy. If you really do enjoy cute girls doing cute things, then have all for it. But the thing is though, is that I would rather just stick with Lucky Star or something of the like, just due to the fact that there are so many cute girls doing cute things that I can take away from before I feel kind of just like, eh, do, do I need to move on? So unfortunately for Kinira Mosaic, I'm just gonna have to say to skip it. Again, if you like Slice of Life, then go on for it. Cute girls doing cute things, go on for it. But for me, I can only handle so much and already have a bunch of other shows that I would rather watch than this one at the moment. Kinira Mosaic is licensed by Sentai Filmworks and its sequel is also streaming on Crunchyroll if you do enjoy both of them. For an ultimate recommendation, I'll point you to is The Order of White Rabbit, and it's cute girls doing cute things, so go for it. You know, they have a coffee shop, or tea shop in this case, and they serve coffee to people being cute and such. And surprisingly enough, that's licensed by Studio White Fox, who did Steins Gate and a bunch of other, like, action stuff. It's kind of weird. It's The Order of Rabbit is licensed by Sentai Filmworks, and is currently streaming on Crunchyroll. Now, for a show that I 
just absolutely love due to it being so adorable and hilarious at some points is Nan Nan Viori. Now Nan Nan Viori is just, I can't even explain right now. Just, what is that? I love it. I, I, I don't know how to explain this show. Cause like I said, you might be thinking, oh, he's a hypocrite for not liking the Kinero Mosaic, but this was just completely different. Due to the characters being of different ages, and not only this is slice of life, but we have different story, and we kind of do have a pushing forward story that makes me want to watch more and more of it. Nanan Biori is licensed by Sentai Filmworks and is currently streamable on Crunchyroll as well as its sequel. That's it for today, and thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Here at the Dynamic Duo, Chris and I also do Let's Plays and video game stuff. So, I mean, like, that hasn't been done before or whatever. But if you do enjoy kind of that stuff, go ahead and click down below. Our links to our social media are also there. So we have our Twitter, our Tumblr, and our Facebook. So if you enjoy hearing us talk about stupid video game or just regular weird stuff, then go ahead and follow us there as well. Thank you so much, guys. And see you next time.